step nine and we're going to do some trimming and grading and as you know the reason we grade is so that our seam allowances are not all at the same width so that we don't get ridges so when you trim and grade you want to make sure that your facing is a fourth of an inch and the garment is three eighths so first of all i'm going to trim this at three eighths and then I'm going, to, which is right here. So that means I'll be trimming off a quarter. Okay, and if you want to mark that, you can, but I've done this so much, I eyeball it. And then on this side, this is the facing side. So the facing will be a fourth. So I'm gonna take off another eighth, an eighth of an inch there. Okay. And now I'm going to trim this side to three eighths, so that means I take off a quarter. Okay. And then I go to the facing side and I take off another eighth so that this will be a quarter and the other side is three eighths. Sometimes when we say trim to something or take off this amount, it can get confusing. So if I trim two three-eighths that means I take off a fourth anyway you get it okay now I, I have these corners here that are very bulky because what's going to happen here is I'm going to fold this has to all sit inside here and this has to sit inside here and this whole big corner has to sit inside here and there's not mm -hmm. enough room so we're going to trim a corner diagonally see how I trim that diagonally whenever I trim I always tell the students to make sure you leave at least an eighth of an inch so I'm going to leave an eighth of an inch there. Okay, and then sometimes we have to trim a little bit off that. So here's that. Okay, so can you see how I've trimmed that? Beautiful. Okay, and let's trim the other side. Now the other side does not have the extension. It's a little bit simpler. So the first thing I do is I'm going to trim it to three eighths, which is about, so take off a quarter, and then come to the facing side and take off another eighth, so the facing side is a fourth, and the skirt side, or the band side, is three-eighths. Okay, and then we need to do this corner. So I'm gonna go like that. Okay, and trim a little bit off there. Okay, so we've got it nicely trimmed. Okay, now it says here to turn your waistband right side out and square your corners. Okay, before I turn this, remember our little thing about making sure you press all your seam allowances open first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a point presser and I'm gonna um, press this open. I'll show you how to use the point presser. Okay, so this here is a point presser. We love these things. See that nice point? So in order to press a seam open that comes to a point, you really have to have this. And you can actually buy these from somewhere where they make them or have a carpenter make them. Anyway, we had one of the carpenters here make some for us. But see how I put that, I can now press that seam open right to the point. <laughs> see, and then I won't get seam wells. Look at that. Once I do that, then I, I actually like to take my thumbnail. I take my thumb in here, my fingernail, and I turn that as good as I can. Now we also have a point turner, okay? And once I get that turned, look how beautiful. You want that nice straight and flush with the opening. Okay, now let's go over to this side and we're gonna press this seam open. <clears throat> and this one is might be a little bit trickier because we've got the extension. So I can press it open this way, but I'm not gonna be able to get this over any sort of um, point press or ironing or anything on this side. So what I'm gonna do is finger press it. So I just open it up against my finger and just run my thumbnail or finger along that to get that to press open. Now in your Reader's Digest, they do not have you sew this last part of the seam. They want you to do it by hand. Well, some of our students are allergic to hand sewing, so we actually do this by machine. That was a joke, they're really not. But, <laughs> but it's stronger and better if you can do it by machine. So we always do that part by machine. So that's one thing you can ignore in the Reader's Digest. Okay, now I'm going to turn this. Okay, and this one's a little bit trickier to turn, but I can still 
um, use my fingernail and you can also use a pin if you have a nice strong pin or a, a point turner um, but I'm just gonna use this pin and when I use this pin to push that seam out I'm pushing on the seam part okay right here and I'll go to this side and do the same okay and so I want this to be nice and square this extension okay all right now this is kind of bulky right here and so I think I'm gonna pull that out and trim it a little bit closer because this looks nice and this is nice and see I, I clipped off that corner inside but really there was room for that but this is what's bulky so I'm actually gonna pull that out because I don't like it it's too bulky and I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim a little bit more here okay but be careful don't trim more than an eighth or you'll end up with a hole okay so and I'm gonna take a little bit more of that corner off okay so I think that will okay that should work I'm not worried about this because there's room there for that one it's this other one that's bulky and I okay hey that's much better if you could jump through the camera and feel this you would agree with me but when you do your own you'll know what I'm talking about okay there now oh I've got to pull this out a little bit too now I sewed with black thread I would never do that on a real garment if I was making a blue waistband on an orange skirt which I would never do either unless it I don't know maybe I would for some reason but the reason I'm making them different colors and I'm sewing in black thread is so you can see them but you always want to um, have thread that matches so that you don't um, it doesn't it isn't shown okay look at that nice little extension and if you look at this 